Welcome to Brew TV. Today, we're working on the CB750. Let's go. Anyways, we're, we're here. I started taking this apart, I didn't film it. Cause there's, I'm kind of watching another video and I'll actually maybe link that channel in here because I don't really know what I'm doing so I don't want you to follow me how I'm doing it because I might be doing it wrong first time I'm doing this so yeah anyways I got the, the top off everything looks okay so we just need to clean it up I'm having trouble getting this thing off of here I don't want to wreck anything so I'm just doing, trying to figure that out. Got that off of there. Got all my parts of a mess here. Hopefully I can figure out everything. And then, yeah. So I'm just trying to get this off. Once I get that off, then I'll probably come back in and... I got it a little bit. I got these wedges in here. Like this. I've just been using this rubber rubber mallet and I was tapping on this and I got it to go a little bit but I gotta figure out how to do the back because there's nothing really to tap on anywheres and it's just aluminum so I don't want to break anything and I'm just gonna get that off and yeah come back when I Got that done. Okay, I finally got that off. I don't know what really was hooking on, but everything inside here you can see it where's the camera it all looks there we go pretty good I think so I don't think I'll have to really do anything with that obviously I'll I'll take and clean up these I'll have to do some research and see what I should do that how I should do that so got that off I'll put it here just on top of the other one there oh hey let's flip you around anyway so we got that off pistons seem okay they just got some whatever carbon build up on them I'll see what I can do to clean those up now okay looks like to take this off looks like there's some bolts here Obviously I'll have to take this cover off and this cover off and then, and then I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I'll take that apart. Where does it come apart over here? There. So maybe there's a bolt here and here. I can't see anything. I think there and there. And then, I'm not sure, probably have to take this off too. But I'm gonna have to watch the video again here. I have to watch that video again to see what I need to do. But, glad I got that off. And I'm glad that there's, that I'm not gonna have to go in there with, and clean that up with anything. Like, I'll clean it up, but not. Uh, forget what you call it but whatever I don't have to do it I don't think so then like I said I'll just clean this up change all all the rings on the pistons but I want to take take this right apart here clean it obviously a bunch of crap got in there from from me here so I'll have to do that 
So I'm making a little bit of progress here. I got this taken off. I gotta take that out yet. Uh, there was nothing there. Got this cover taken off and this taken off the cover. I'm working on the, taking the clutch out there right now. So there was, there was, uh, that was on there, bolted. So I'm not, uh, I've just been picking away at it here and there in the mornings whenever I get time. So I haven't been filming much of this. So it's probably kind of a boring video. Just, I guess, updates of how I'm getting it. So I'll keep doing it. I'm hoping when I put it back together. When I put it back together, I'll hopefully I can spend a little bit more time to in depth of how to reassemble it anyways. So yeah, that's where I'm at so far. I'll just uh, keep plugging away and do another one of these in a little bit. Okay, so I'm to this point. I don't have the tool to do that, so I went and made me something. We had uh, three of these seven, eight sockets. So I'm hoping that it'll work. And I'll let you know. So it worked. It's awesome. Anyways, so what I did, I just took a, it's a seven eight socket and uh i i'm i put it on there and i kind of marked out where it was and then i just took the angle grinder and and ground that all down so then it just goes in there fits gloves are in the way i don't know if you can see it but it fits in there and then i just used the impact and got it off and it it came right off of there and then on the other side I tuck in did this because you need otherwise it would just spin right so <clears throat> I took a 14 it's a 14 millimeter put it on there put it like that and it held it solid so it didn't go anywhere my little homemade tool worked. Use the socket, like I said, and it just comes right off of there. And there you have it. I didn't want to buy the tool, so here we go. It worked. So now I got that whole clutch out of there. And I'm going to uh, go and watch. I'm going to go and watch a little bit of the video to see what I should do next. We'll be right back. All right, so we got those two pieces taken apart. Got that taken off of there. That actually was not too hard for me. Oh yeah, I just hammered it. Hammered it up with a block of wood and a, that hammer right there. And it took me... Literally, probably about five minutes. I know some people take a mode half hour or something. It just depends how bad it's stuck on there, I guess. Anyways, yeah, that uh, came off really well for me. So, I think that's about gonna do it for this video. I, uh, the videos I'm watching, he's uh, kind of to this point. And now I'm, I want to put it back together, but I'd like to watch, watch and see what needs to be done. So I'll take and uh, clean it up in here a little bit. Just get all the crap that has fallen in there or whatever out. So yeah, I'm going to, now this wasn't very detailed to get this apart because I didn't really know what I'm doing. So I didn't. I, like I said in the beginning of the video, I don't want you to follow me doing this. So I didn't make it a, a DIY or, or nothing. So 
his his channel i think he's uh letterbox workshop or something like that so you go check him out and i'll, I'll link he has two videos on a rebuild right now the top half and the bottom half so i'll i'll link one of the videos probably the first one he has you can go check those check that out and then you can you can find them too anyways that's gonna do it for this one if uh you made it this far thanks for watching this was i've never done this before so it was kind of interesting yeah uh, yeah pretty excited about that another thing is i would don't do what i did and kind of just put your parts in the i kind of tried keeping them all separate so i i would know but i wanted to keep them all labeled and and uh organized but didn't really happen i just kind of started doing it and then and then yeah till that that's one thing i wish i would have done is got containers for every little little piece and labeled it and and done stuff like that but oh well i'll figure it out and if i don't now nah, i'll figure it out I'll figure it out. Hooey. So yeah. Um, so now I'm just going to probably clean up the pistons and stuff. A little bit. Just get that build up off of there. They look pretty good. So get those off of there. The carbs I rebuilt a couple years ago, so those should still be good. And, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment, subscribe. See you next time.